Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh This is Sheikh Ismail al-Qadi Once again alhamdulillah we're back uh, with the videos of Makhariju al-Huruf the articulation points of the letters and alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his help and support were able to release or upload 16 videos about the Makharij. In those videos we talked about how to pronounce each and every letter uh, in Arabic language, mashallah, each and every single letter of, of Arabic alphabet, alhamdulillah, and then we moved on to say if they're like heavy or light. So there's like soft letters and there's heavy letters. But by the way, heavy and light, these are not the only attributes for the letters. We will talk about those attributes inshallah ta'ala later on bi ta'ala. Today bi we're going to continue talking about the articulation points of the letters. And we're going to focus on some general definitions that will definitely help you to understand the process of pronouncing those letters, to have a clear makharij in the Qur'an, and to have a good reading of the Qur'an bi ta'ala. But please first, don't forget to, forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel, inshallah ta'ala, to support and to help, inshallah ta'ala, spread the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First, inshallah ta'ala, we will talk about the articulation point. So Al-Makharaj, in Arabic it's Al-Makharaj, the articulation point. What is Al-Makharaj? Al-Makharaj, they say in Arabic, هو محل خروج الحرف عند النطق به لتمييزه عن غيره. So the articulation point, okay, the English definition of that is uh, the place of emitting the letter when pronouncing it which differentiates the specific letter from other letters. Subhanallah. So that's how I know the difference between Ba and Ta because they both have different articulation points. That's how I know the difference between tha and jim, two different articulation points. They, they make us recite or pronounce two different letters. Okay, that's the first one, al-makhraj. Okay, inshallah ta'ala. And then al-harf. What's the letter? Like, okay, we say letters. Yes, which is the essential you know, point that you start with in any language. Letters, right? Al-harf huwa sawtun in Arabic. I'm going to say it first. Huwa sawtun i'tamada ala makhrajin muhaqqaqin aw muqaddar. Okay? So the, the, the letter is a sound. Yeah. Ba, ta, tha. It's a sound. That's it. It's a sound that uh, relies on a specific or approximate articulation point. A specific one. There's an exact one. Ba. I know from the lips. That's it. But there's some letters like alif, waw, ya, the lengthened letters, like the mad letters, stretching letters, extension letters, okay? They come out from the empty space in the throat and the mouth. The areas here, empty. Uh, ooh, ee. So that's approximate, we call it approximate articulation point of the letters, inshallah ta'ala. And then, so articulation points are of two kinds that we have to understand them, inshallah ta'ala. The first one, as we mentioned earlier in the definition of le the letter, is we have the specific one, okay? Al-Makhraj Al-Muhaqqaq, the specific articulation point. What is that? هو الذي يعتمد على جزء معين من أجزاء الحلق أو اللسان أو الشفتين. So, it's that which relies on a specific, remember this word, specific, muhaqqaq, inshaAllah ta'ala, specific place of the areas of the throat, tongue, or Lips, both lips, inshallah ta'ala. Is that clear? That's al-makhraj al the specific articulation point. Okay? And we have al-muqaddar. That's the second articulation point, which is the approximate articulation point that we mentioned when we defined the letter. Okay? We said the letter is a sound that relies on a specific articulation point or approximate one, an approximate one. So the approximate one, which is al-muqaddar, هو الذي لا يعتمد على جزء معين من أجزاء الحلق أو اللسان أو الشفتين. So it's the, uh, so it's actually which does not rely on a specific uh, areas of or place from the tongue and uh, uh, throat or lips. Okay, like what, like al-jawf. Al-jawf, which means the empty space in the throat and the mouth, okay? We pronounce the three mad letters, stretching or extension letters. Alif, waw, ya, a, u, e. There's no specific place in the tongue, lips, or throat, inshallah ta'ala. So that's going to be our lesson for today, bi-idhnillahi ta'ala. Focus on those general definitions, inshallah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to benefit all of us from the Quran. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the Quran the light of our hayat al dunya, inshallah, and akhirah bi idnillahi ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair. Please do not forget to like, share, and 
subscribe uh, for this channel. Insha'Allah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.